Okay. So script supervising, we're writing down what the camera shoots is in a technical language. We are responsible for matching and continuity. And we're also responsible for keeping and preserving the screen direction, which is our theory in filmmaking. It's why we shoot out of order and everybody's looking the right way. Because we sit and we are, we think they, they call us the glue. They call us um, th that we hold the Bible. We are really sitting in a, in the center of the filmmaking process, talking with the producers, you're talking with the cinematographers, you're talking with the camera, you talk and sit basically next to the, the director, you're watching the actors, you're in the center of it. So I would like for you to take it seriously, but we also need the mindset that you know that this is an important job. It's more important than people try to like say. It is asking if continuity and script supervision are the same or they have some kind of difference. Okay, so the difference between a script supervisor and a continuity coordinator is that maybe that's all that they're doing is the continuity. Some um, shows are very uh, detailed where you need another person just looking maybe at the wardrobe or the hair or, or the action of the continuity. A script supervisor writes down what the camera shoots. A continuity coordinator would not. They would just probably just do the, actually the continuity. Now there are um, television shows here uh, in America where they split the duties. A lot of times if you have an ensemble cast, a lot of, of actors in a scene, uh, they will hire two full-fledged script supervisors, one that just does the continuity and the dialogue because it's so much. And then the other uh, script supervisor will sit with the director and do all the technical notes. One of the things about being a script supervisor is that you have to be present right? You have to be able to show up and you have to have a certain, um, you, it shouldn't be this, it should be this. This is an important job and we have to go up against directors. You know, you're telling people that are making 10 times the amount of money you are, you're telling them that you think that this might be wrong or that you, they may want to look at this or they should look at that. And they're looking at you, seeing if they can trust you or not. Let's let's talk about um, the roles and the responsibilities of the script supervisor. I think this is some of the information that you guys um, want to have. Your first duty, and this is what we're gonna get into, and this is gonna be your first homework, is that your first duty as a script supervisor, let's say, let's start from the beginning, you get hired for the job. The first thing that you're going to want to do is break down your script. You break down the script, um, which is prep, and you're going to break down your script and there are four duties and more that you can do depending on the script, depending on the story, but there are four basic duties. One is to um, do an estimated timing. Two is story chronology. Three is scene and page count. And then four is the script supervisor's one-liner. The reason why you do a timing of a, of a story uh, of a script is so that you know how long it is. One of the things that as a script supervisor, you have to be able to suppress that ego. Yeah, you may be right, but it's not your movie. Your name is script supervisor. Their name is director and it's their movie. So in the director's meeting, you are looking for answers and you're not asking a bunch of questions that make it look like you don't know the story. That's another thing. You're asking for, you're asking for confirmation about the story chronology and you're, you come with the answers to your questions. You're just looking for confirmation. So, yeah, I had um, a director I worked with before, and he come to me like after almost every scene, and was like, "Have we got this covered?" And seeing the lines and seeing what shots you have is just useful for them to kind of have reassurance because they're like, "Okay, we've done this scene. We've got all these different types of shots. We're good to move on." You know, so it's just uh, making them feel at ease sometimes as well. I think it is. So that so. Um... Yeah, so lining the script, again, you know, some, there are things that some, ad, you know, editors don't want, but you don't want to get in the habit of not doing it. And a lot of times when you first get started, 
you giving them way more information that they need, but you have to remember, this is you building yourself up in the craft. You're gonna wanna get to, you know, doing the blockbuster movies and all like that kind of stuff. And if you don't have the skill set because you didn't do it because someone said, oh, I didn't need it, then go, okay, no. You're gonna learn that you're supposed to do this, 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 and this. They may not know that they need this, this, and this. 